What's up, guys? It's Christian Welch with the Fantasy Authority, aka Evil Empire FF on Twitter, bringing you another video today. Today, I've got three players to target in your drafts that I like better than ADP. The ADP I'll be referencing today will be from Underdog, and I'll be giving you one early round, one mid round, and one late round player that I like better than their ADP. So let's go ahead and hop in. My early round player is Mike Davis, running back of the Atlanta Falcons. So his ADP right now is 49th overall. That's round five, pick one. Um, amongst running backs, he's going RB22. So Mike Davis last year, as we know, filled in for Christian McCaffrey after injury and played very well. He carried the ball 165 times for 642 yards and three touchdowns. Also tacked on 59 receptions for 373 yards and two touchdowns. That's 206.5 PPR points. Again, good for RB11 overall. And he even had four 20-point games. So just a very, very good player last year Mike Davis was for Carolina. He finished RB11 with only 165 carries, which is very impressive to me. When you tack on the 59 receptions he had as well, that's 224 total touches that he had last year. I feel this year that he has some of the safest guaranteed volume in the league. Atlanta's running back room, outside of him, you're looking at Cadre Olison and Javian Hawkins. Olison was taken in the fifth round. Hawkins was undrafted. The Falcons have absolutely nothing else invested in this backfield other than Mike Davis. Arthur Smith, new head coach, absolutely loves to pound the rock. I see no way that Mike Davis is not getting about 15 carries a game for the Falcons. May miss some time. He is a running back. I'm not projecting him for that full 240 carries that 15 carries a game would bring, but I don't think it's far-fetched to think he's carrying the ball 200 times. So for me, if, if he finished RB11 last year, and I expect him to get maybe 50 more carries this year, sign me up. He's going at RB22 and... I, you know, I think it's a possibility that he could be a back-end RB1, if not a high-end RB2. Right now, he's going at the very back end of the RB2s, and I think that's a screaming buy. And again, this is not a buying Peyton Barber last year in Washington type deal. Mike Davis is a good football player, even if his name isn't sexy. So hopping over to my mid-round buy, it's going to be Michael Pittman, wide receiver from the Indianapolis Colts. His ADP right now is 104 overall, so ninth round, eighth pick. Last year as a rookie, not extremely productive, you know, pretty let down rookie year. 40 catches, 503 yards, and just one touchdown. That's 99 fantasy points, so nothing that got us excited. But looking at the Colts wide receiver room right now, nothing gets me excited. We're talking 31-year-old T.Y. Hilton. We're talking Paris Campbell, who I liked as a prospect, but he's been injured the first two years he's been in the league. We're talking about a bunch of tight ends, none of them that get us excited, just a mediocre tight end room. Naheem Hines is literally his competition for uh, catches in Indianapolis. Michael Pittman, the player, this guy is 6'4", 225, just an absolute alpha style body um, if he can get out there and get it figured out. He's a second round pick, 34th overall. So that's the second pick in the second round the Colts drafted him at. They took him before they took Jonathan Taylor. So the organization clearly loves this guy. But for me, I'm looking at a team here that has an upgrade at quarterback. Whether you like Carson Wentz or not, he is an upgrade over Noodle Arm Phillip Rivers for the wide receiver room. I think 1,000 yards is very realistic in, in, in Michael Pittman's projection for this season. He has great red zone potential because of that huge frame at 6'4", 225. So there's touchdown upside there. Sign me up for a 6'4", 225 second round pick coming into his second season with an upgrade at quarterback when his competition is 31-year-old T.Y. Hilton and a bunch of Jags. Guys going around him as far as the ADP goes, Jalen Waddell, Mike Williams, Antonio Brown, none of those guys have a chance to lead their team in target share. Michael Pittman absolutely has a chance to lead his team in target share. So Moving on to my late round buy, another wide receiver. This one's young as well, even younger. He's a rookie. Um, it's Amari Rogers, uh, wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. His ADP right now is 191 overall. So we're talking 16th round, 11th pick. Um, like I said, he's a rookie. He may be unknown to some, especially redraft players that don't you know, follow the college players and, and, and are rookie drafting in the summer. Um, but he had day two draft capital this year and is 100% a slot receiver. The Green Bay Packers do not have a slot receiver outside of Amari Rodgers, and he's going in the 16th round. You know, so if, if I can have the only slot receiver on a team that threw the ball over 500 times last year, and I can get him in the 16th round, it's basically free, sign me up. We're not scared of Alan Lazard. We're not scared of Marquez Valdez-Scantling. We're not afraid of Ekimonemia St. Brown. We're certainly not scared of Devin Funches. And I don't even know that we're scared of Robert Tanyan. He had one of the flu flukiest seasons last year 
like ever when you look at touchdown rate and other things. So Rodgers is a great player, in my opinion. He's got a thick, strong, low center of gravity. He's got really strong hands. He's a winner. Um, he's a leader. He's a coach's kid type guy. I really think he's going to come in and, and have an impact on the Packers this year. Now, the Packers threw the ball 314 times last year to players not named Devontae Adams or Aaron Jones. I do not think it's far-fetched with the other names I just mentioned in that Packers pass-catching room that Rodgers can get one-third of those targets. I think this is some of the cheapest 100-target potential that you can get in your drafts with Amari Rodgers. So those are my three guys that I would buy um, early, mid, and late throughout the draft. I love their value against their ADP. Uh, let me know what you think about those guys, if you liked them, if you didn't like them. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fantasy Authority, uh, like the video, and if you want to uh, keep up with me on Twitter, again, at Evil Empire FF. So that's all I got today. I'll see you next time.